As you're working with Edius, you may have noticed that as you play back some of your clips on your computer monitor, that they, uh, especially those with motion in them, they may not seem to be playing back uh, smoothly. If, for example, there's uh, traffic going by or people walking through the park or guys on motorbikes, it may seem to jump a little bit. But as you examine the frames step by step, you'll see that there's nothing wrong with the clip itself. There's no lost information. It's not a corrupt file or anything. Uh, it's nice, smooth motion all the way through. But for some reason, it just doesn't play back as smooth as you might like. Now, if you have a dedicated graphics card in your system that's outputting to a broadcast monitor, you've probably noticed that it looks fine on the broadcast monitor through a dedicated graphics card, but for some reason your computer monitor um, is seem to be stuttering a little bit or, or jumping. And uh, especially when you're trying to edit a video without a dedicated graphics card or, or the advantage of being able to view the video as it should look on a, on a monitor at, while you're editing. You know, say you're out in the field and you're trying to piece something together or you're on travel, <laughs> visiting relatives, you don't have all your equipment with you and it's a little disconcerting as you look at some of your clips and see them jumping and you're wondering, well, what's going on? Well, uh, this has um, probably more to do with your laptop uh, graphics card um, than it does with Edius. Uh, but there are a few things that I might point out that might help you as you attempt to get your clips to play back a little smoother. One is to make sure that your user settings match your project settings in regard to overlay. Go up to settings and uh, select user settings and check under preview and then overlay. And you'll see that you have an update frequency here uh, and you have two options, one is field and one is frame. Well, if you are working in a project that is interlaced and your footage is interlaced, then you will want to make sure that you are selecting the field update frequency. And if you are in a progressive project where your footage is progressive, you'll want to select frame uh, and that could smooth things out for you a little bit. Something else you might want to try if you are working with Edius version 7 or higher, uh, you uh, might want to go to settings, system settings, under application, go to playback, and experiment with the playback buffer size. Uh, with the uh, 64-bit operating system and now Edius being 64-bit, you especially if you have a lot of RAM installed in your system, you may benefit by uh, choosing a higher playback buffer size. Doesn't always help, but uh, it's worth a try. Okay, and then one more thing I'd like to show you is that you may have some options inside your graphics card control system that may prove beneficial. Now, I know that <laughs> Uh, every laptop that you're trying to work on in Edius may have a different type of graphics card. And what I'm about to show you may not necessarily be uh, reflective of the graphics card that you have installed. But let's take a look. For those of you who have a, a laptop that has a similar type of graphics card as me, go to your Start uh, button here and uh, go into Control Panel. And um, open up your Control Panel for your graphics card. And uh, in your 3D settings, in this particular graphics card, you have an option to select uh, programs that you might want to customize to work in a specific way with the graphics card that you have installed. Now, if Edius doesn't show up here, you do have the option of adding programs that are not showing up. So hit the Add button, go to your C drive, and go to Program Files. Uh, if you were working with uh, an earlier version of Edius, uh, Edius 6, for example, uh, Edius is going to show up under uh, Program Files x86. But if you're 7, look for it under Program Files and then go down to Grass Valley, open up Edius 7, and then click on the Edius executable file there to let your graphics card know that you want to add that particular program to uh, the settings, the possible settings there. And once it's added, uh, check down here 
and see what your options are. You can use a global setting in this case. You could use high performance processor or the integrated graphics. And if you have a dedicated graphics card installed in your system, that should show up as well. I've experimented uh, with all three. In my case, I seem to be getting the best results using the high performance processor that's available in my control panel. As I say, your, your control panel for your graphics card is likely a little bit different, um, especially if it's coming from another manufacturer, but it's worth checking into and, and seeing what options are available for your particular graphics card and experiment with the settings. You may indeed be able to find something that gives you a little smoother playback as you attempt to watch your videos while you're editing on your computer monitor. And indeed, that looks like it's giving us a little smoother playback. All right, I believe that does it for how to get smoother playback on your computer monitor as you edit videos in EDIUS.